the president's remarks at the political rally from Government Square, Cincinnati, Ohio, October 5th, 1962. Governor DeSalle. Governor DeSalle. Governor DeSalle, Senator Young, ladies and gentlemen, I am uh, glad to be back in Cincinnati. <laughs> These uh, 20 months have not been entirely wasted. And to uh, come back here on a, a very good cause. I do not come to this city and state in October of 1962 as a candidate for office myself. I come to this state because I believe after 20 months as President of the United States, I believe it's vitally important that the people of Ohio and Kentucky and the people of the United States make a choice for progress in 1962 and not choose to sit still. And that's why we're here in Ohio. You have in Ohio uh, 23 congressmen. You have uh, seven Democrats, and the remainder are Republicans. And what this state must decide, what this state must decide is what are the issues facing the United States today? What do you want of your congressman? What do you want of your senator? What do you want of your governor? What are the problems that this state and country face? Well, I think we can sum them up very briefly. And that is that the United States, with a population increasing 3 million a year, with nearly 20,000 new people coming in looking for jobs every week, that the United States has had the lowest rate of economic growth in the last five years of any major country in the world. Any major country in the world. There are more people out of work in the United States, with the exception of Canada, than any major country in the world. That is the basic domestic issue that the United States faces. Do you know the United States this year could produce nearly $50 billion more than we're going to produce? The Soviet Union works 48 hours a week, 50 hours a week, every factory going to the maximum. We have 5.5% of our people out of work. We have 2 or 3% more that would like to find a job but don't. We have people who work short time. That's the issue of this campaign. And I think in the last 20 months, in the Congress of the United States, and this is not a matter of characters or personalities or parties, this is a question of whether your congressmen and your senators and your governors support the kind of program which will make it possible for this very rich country of ours to fulfill its promise. And I want to read you the record, and it's here for all to see. In the last session of the Congress, we had a bill up to provide for aid for education for our college students. Three-fourths of the Republicans voted against it. We had a bill before the Congress for a $1.25 minimum wage. A Republican congressman from Ohio made the motion against it. And 80% of the Republican Party in the House of Representatives voted against a $1.25 minimum wage. 95% of the Republican members of the House of Representatives voted against a housing bill last year. Now we believe, I believe, and I'm sure you must believe, that those members of the House and Senate, however splendid they may be in character, the fact that they vote time and again against medical care for the aged and for housing and temporary unemployment compensation and area redevelopment and all these programs that are so necessary 
for the welfare of our country indicates why I'm out here tonight, because I believe this election is important. We have 100,000 people and thousands that are in Ohio who have unemployment compensation and exhausted, and they can't find a job. So we suggested that unemployment compensation be renewed for them for six months. Nine out of 10 members of the House Ways and Means Committee who are Republicans voted against that. Now you have a chance to decide here in Ohio and in this district whether this is the kind of Congress and country you want, one that sits still, one that lies at anchor, one that drifts, one that says no. They have made the word no a political program. I believe in the word yes. And that's why I am hopeful that, of course, you will elect again Senator Lauschi and that you will send to the Congress men and women who can speak for Ohio and speak for the country. Monica Nolan and Harry Sand and Jerry Razor and Maude Nevers, with whom I went to school long ago. Robert Riley and John Pritchett from Indiana. These are men and women who I believe support the kind of a program that this country is going to need. We go back in January to write a new tax bill. Is that tax bill going to be a bill which takes care of a few people? Or are we going to write a tax bill which will give this economy sufficient stimulus to move it ahead and not have a recession in 1963? That's why this campaign is important, and that's why we're here tonight. Now, I think the issue is very simple. Those who believe in a strong country must recognize that it's here at home. We first must be strong. And this administration has been strong abroad. We have added, and it's easy to make speeches about what America should do abroad, but this administration has added five combat divisions. We've increased our army from 11 to 16 divisions in the last 20 months. This year in the field of space, we will spend three times what we spent last year, and last year we spent more than the previous eight years combined. <laughs> These people who talk about a strong country abroad, we need military strength, and we need to be strong in space, and we need to demonstrate a concern for the people of the world. This last administration ignored Latin America for eight years, and we paid the price. This administration in the Alliance for Progress and in the OAS has worked to make it possible for democratic institutions to flourish in Latin America, which is far more important than all the speeches and all the signs. So I come here today and I ask your help for these members of the House and Senate. And finally, I know that this state will re-elect Governor DeSalle. Ohio is known as the mother of presidents. Well, for a brief period, I was a son-in-law of Ohio because Governor DeSalle was the first governor of any state in this state who supported my campaign for the presidency. And while for a period, Ohio, my mother-in-law locked me out. We're back here tonight to ask your help in making it possible for him to be reelected again. Being governor of a great state is the most difficult task in the world. But he has shown in his concern for education, in bringing jobs to this state, in taking care of those who are sick and those who are mentally retarded, he has made the same record here as he made in Washington and in his own home state. So I'm proud to come here today and stand on this platform with men and women who are committed to progress, with a distinguished governor of a great state of Ohio, and I come here in October 1962 and ask you to help us move this country forward. Thank you.